This video will show you how to configure your Hobo U30 station Wi-Fi configuration to communicate to the internet via your network. The first thing you need to do is you need to download a software utility from our website, onsetcomp.com. Go to Support, Software Utilities, Hobo U30 Network, and this will bring you to the Hobo Network Setup Utility page. Be sure that you have the latest version of the Microsoft.NET Framework installed and make sure it's the full version. Go down to Download and click on Hobo Network Setup Utility. Once it's downloaded, click on it to start running the utility. You will see a welcome screen and follow the instructions on that screen. Click Begin. You will see that it's saying it's reading data from the data logger. And what it will do is it will populate the screen with what the last configuration was in the logger. You would use the same configuration if you had an Ethernet U30 that didn't support DHCP or Dynamic Host Communication Protocol. DHCP allows automatic IP address assignment once a Ethernet cable is connected to the device. If your router, if you have an Ethernet U30 and your router supports DHCP, you don't have to run this configuration. Just connect your Ethernet cable to the logger and it should get out to the Internet. If your Ethernet device does not support or your router does not support DHCP, you'll have to disable it here and then put in a what's called a static IP address and you'll have to get that from your IT person. This particular device is a Wi-Fi device so you need to put in specific configuration parameters that match what your how your router is configured. You have to put in the SSID number or the network name. Uh, again uh, the, the U30 this is an industrial interface so the U30 doesn't have the ability to detect that like your, like your smartphone or your laptop might be able to do. So you will need that information. You will need to put in the network name, the security suite. Most people use WPA these days. Um, also the type of encryption and again your IT person can help you with that. You will also need to put in the encryption key type. Most of them, most people use a passphrase these days, like a password, and you put that in under your encryption key. Once you're ready, and once that you have all that information, you click on Apply. It says Saving Configuration Information, and then it will come up with a green, uh, some green text, and it'll say Network Configuration Saved. Reset your logger for changes to take effect. Quit out of this. Disconnect your USB cable, disconnect your battery, wait for 10 to 20 seconds, reconnect your battery, and your U30 should connect up to Hobolink. For more information about using Hobo products, please go to our website, onsetcomp.com. Thanks.